Hello, welcome to part two of my web development tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be going off of everything that we had from last time. I'm once again using Microsoft VS Code. You might be using code.org. You, you, know you know what I said last time, I'm not going to go over it again. Uh, even though I just did, pretty much. <laughs> Today, we are going to get into some a little bit of CSS. Get it, styling this a little different. So, we're going to go here. If we open up a CSS folder, or, or file... There will be nothing here, most likely. You're going to go... Say we want... I like the color green, okay? The green green is a beautiful color, okay? We're going to... Right now, we don't like this boring text right here. We, so, since that is under the paragraph tag, we're going to go P, curly, break, curly brackets, enter. Here's where we put all of the properties for anything that is under the paragraph tag. So we might want the color green and done. But you might you be like, wait, there's still nothing here. That's right. We may be done in the in the CSS file, but we haven't done anything in the, in the HTML file telling the HTML to include the CSS. So to do that, we're going to go in the head or the metadata, like I said last time. We're going to use one tag here, link R E L equals start why do you do this to me what are you doing computer okay style sheet this is a mess oh my gosh href this is where we type in what style we want it to use style.css that's what we called it this is so annoying and end and this should not be like this so I guess I'll just go and you can see that the text is green. You want it to be red? Okay. Red. And it's red. You want it to be... I believe it, teal even works. Yeah, it does. See, teal. Gray. Gray works there too. Almost... I... Don't know if there's a color that doesn't work. I, like white, I know it works. Like you can make it just like disappear. <laughs> but another thing you can do, I'm gonna keep it green because green's cool. You can also change the font size of it. So I believe it's font size. You can go 80px, and that's really big. <laughs> 48px. Px stands for pixels. You can com now anything under the paragraph tag will be green with eight with 80 px file size oh text size so if we go add another paragraph in here we can go this is a green big paragraph and then this is a green big paragraph so now anything in the since we included this style sheet for, to the entire html file Anything here will have th those at those properties to it. Th there you go. That is an introduction to including a CSS file in HTML. Thank you for watching. Bye.